Go to kcgov.us, hover over the word government, and click on the building button. And then you scroll down to apply for permit or project, and click on the magnifying glass button. If you're not already an IMS user, you'll need to register as a new user, which from this page, you'll click on register as a new user in the lower left corner. It will ask you to put in your first and last name, your email address, and to create a password. You'll do that and hit register. From here, you'll be logged in, so you'll see your name in the top right-hand corner. You will click on Apply for Permit. Select what is appropriate, such as you're building a residential structure, commercial building, a manufactured home, if you're doing something mechanical, changing out a gas, water heater, or something like that, assign a fence, retaining wall, swimming pool, demolition, etc. We'll just go with the house. If it is a new single-family dwelling, you will click that. You're going to type in your AIN or your parcel number. It'll give you a drop-down menu. You will have to click on your property in that drop-down menu. And then click Next. It's going to give you a list of documents that are required for a new house. You will need those. You're just going to click that you acknowledge that you're aware. In the permit title, you're going to put New Single Family Residence. In the description, you can put in Two-Story New Development. Three Bedroom, Two Bath. Click Next. Here you will type in the valuation. That's what it's going to cost you to build this home. So say $250,000. If you are the applicant and the owner, you will toggle yes. If not, leave it blank. If you are the applicant, the owner, and the builder, you will type in yes. In this case, we're just going to put no. The construction type and occupancy type will be auto-populated based on what you said that you're doing you will need to fill in all of the square footages that apply. If it does not apply, enter zero. Do not leave it blank. Number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms, number of stories. Then if you're going to be on septic or sewer, you'll choose whatever is appropriate. Mechanical details. This is where you would put in if you're installing natural gas or propane. You will have to select one of those even if you're only doing electrical. So just choose one. If you're not putting any gas outlets and just leave this at zero, then you'll choose each of the items that you're installing. If you're putting in a gas stove or cooktop, you'll choose one. If you're not, leave it zero. Gas water heater, any clothes dryer, gas or electric, gas log liners, gas fireplace, small gas appliance, not itemized, gas furnace, space heater, boiler, refrigeration units, a heat pump, or a C units. That's also a mini split air handler solid fuel fireplace or wood stove and then the exhaust fan you would have one for each bathroom one for your gas range one for your gas water heater and one for your dryer over here you will select if you have an architect or an engineer if you do you'll just select yes then you'll go down here and click next the owner will be auto populated based on who is the owner of record with the county the applicant will be auto-generated based on who's logging in and applying for this application. If you want the applicant or the owner to also be the designated contact person, you would just click this copy button, select designated contact and copy, and it will shoot whatever information is here over here. If you have a contractor and they are registered with our system, you could type in their name here. Then you will click same with the mechanical contractor. If you know who you're hiring, they'll auto-populate. And click next. Here's where you'll upload all of your documents. You will click on the green upload button for your structural calculations. Choose that document, click open, and then upload it, and it'll take you right back to the list, and you'll click the next one, beams. Roof design A trusses, plans, site plan, letter of authorization. This will only allow you to upload one document at a time. Next, here's your acknowledgement. You just look over that. Click accept when you're ready. This will be your permit summary. Look over this, make sure everything is correct and accurate. If there needs to be any changes, you can make that now by clicking on this orange edit button. Let's go all the way to the bottom and hit submit. You'll get an email that will have your permit number. You can call to follow up or you can go right to your reviews tile. You'll see a list of reviews here. As they're approved, it'll say approved and the date. If it doesn't say approved here, it is not complete regardless of what it says up here. You're welcome to call the office anytime Watch out for uploading the wrong document in the wrong field, forgetting a document, site plans insufficient, 
A letter of authorization needs to be completed and signed by the homeowner or the property owner. It does need to also have their phone number and email address listed.